Yo guys, what's up? It's Sam here. <laughs> Are we vlogging today? No, we're getting close though. Hey, I got a very special unboxing today of some Bath & Body Works product. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding you guys. I, I actually got a ton of new Apple products and I've, I'm a little bit off the rails, I'll be honest. I've gone a little bit too far this time because uh, I think I, I cleaned them out. I think I cleaned out the Apple store. We've got so much good stuff. We've got Beat Studio Buds. We've got the Pride Band. We've got the new Sport Band. That's on the floor. Look at this thing. Hey, we got so much good stuff. So if you're excited for today's video, drop a like down below. Of course, hit subscribe so you're always staying up to date on the latest Apple news. And let's start. Let's start getting this stuff out of the box. So what are you waiting for? If you're excited for today's video, drop a like down below. It seriously helps me and the channel out. And click that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so that you never miss a beat. So we've got a few things and I don't know where to start. I think I want to get the AirTag stuff out of the way just because, I mean, it's AirTag accessories, you know, they're okay. But also I kind of promised I would never talk about AirTag again. Yet here we are, I know, breaking my promises. That being said, recently they came out with some really dope new colors for the key ring and then also the leather loop. So the sunflower, like California poppy seed, and then also the forest green, which kind of looks blue, but let's go ahead and open these. All right, so we got this right here, very minimal packaging. This is the Baltic blue one that's been out for a while, and then this is the new green. So you can see it is a different shade, but this is more turquoise than a, than a forest. I would call this like tortoise green if I was Apple, but hey, I'm just a guy making the videos. So this is the new leather loop in green, and it's a lot more leather. And you guys know how we feel about, about leather here. It's pretty sweet after all. Hey, how are you? All right, I'm pretty sure I just got my Joker origin story from that. Anyway, we're back inside. I think we were on something for the air tag. Right, let's let's redump. Why do I feel like I have more stuff? We were on this thing. Yeah, the, the leather loop in the new forest green. I'll be honest, it does not look green. Like, I don't know how well the camera is translating, but like green is a tree. This is a turquoise. This looks like an ocean blue and they already have Baltic blue. Here's the new Baltic ocean leather loop. There we go, look at that pop. You guys don't see that anywhere. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at this unboxing thing one day. I don't know what it is, these just don't feel good. There's something about the loop that, that's bad. I mean, may, maybe the yellow, is the yellow one gonna be any better? I mean, the yellow one's gotta be better because yellow's the best color, right? All right, we pop it out, flip it around. Here it is, and it does look great. Let me, let me get it here, it looks great. So here they are all together, and I gotta say, I think this new green one, the forest green, is my favorite. The Baltic blue is, is nice, but uh, the yellow and green, these are great. But again, I wouldn't recommend the loops. This is probably the cheapest feeling Apple accessory I've ever felt, and it's $39. So I would avoid the loops. I mean, they're great for luggage, I guess, but yeah, they just don't feel worth it, unfortunately. These should be $20 accessories, not, not 40. I have been generally impressed with the key rings though, and this is yellow. I've never seen it in person, but Apple's been teasing it since the event. And I mean, it doesn't really disappoint. Again, while you could get the loop, these just feel better. This feels like a $34, $35 product. I've been using the blue one essentially since it came out, but I think my favorite is the new green or yellow. There's something about these, they're good, all right? Good job, Apple, these, these actually feel good. All right, next up, wanna look at the new Apple Watch band. So I've got two here, the USA one for the Olympus collection and then the Pride band. And since I've seen this, I was like, I've gotta go hands on with it. It looks so nice. You even got this cool Apple Watch rainbow branding on the back. Prayers in the chat that I got the right solo loop size because this is the one that doesn't have any latches. It just goes around your wrist. We got a lot of rainbow in here. I will say in person, it looks just as good. I've actually never seen one in person, whoa. It's a hundred bucks, like don't get me wrong, this is not a cheap band, all right? It's a hundred dollars, but it does feel, oh, you can't do this with many bands. Am I gonna break this on the first day? <laughs> that feels really good. And this seems like it's the right size, but you know, let's let's go ahead and see if I picked right. Here's what it looks like when it's just on the watch. All right, now for the moment of truth. There's no way I picked the right size, right? You put it on. Okay, we're so close. This feels good though. I think oh, I might actually return this and get get a size smaller because I do like the look of this so much. I mean, compared to the blue that I have, it, it's not even close. This just looks sick. I'm impressed. This is my favorite thing I've seen from Apple in the past few months so far. Now we've got some other things like the buds, which I think are probably gonna take the cake. And, and this, the Olympic span. I'm gonna wear this just for 
for posterity's sake, get my money's worth out of it. All right, this is the Olympic USA one. Now they have all kinds of different countries that came out. This I just noticed has some cool gold branding on the back that glimmers a little bit. So if we take it out of the box here, clearly this is why I'm not in the Olympics. If we open this up right here, you can see you got it in the middle. So fun fact, I've actually never felt a sport loop before and this is a, a trip. It's a very Velcro-y. I didn't actually know that that's how it fastened. Like, I think I knew that in my heart, but I didn't actually know it until I saw it. They do feel pretty nice. Less stretchy though, so instantly subtracting one point off the score. I have to take off the pride band, which just, I don't know, I kind of miss it already. And this goes at the bottom. So far, so good. All right, we're loosening her up. We're sliding my little hand in. This one is nice because like you don't have to get the exact right size immediately and you can tighten it. And here's how I look, supporting my fellow Americans. You're looking at President Cole right here. Please get that report on my desk. Pronto. I actually did anticipate keeping this one, but I like it. It's a uh, red, white, and blue. Could I could I say that again? It's red, white, and blue. My fellow my fellow Americans, you still watching? I will say though, if I had to pick one of these two, I think this is about 50 bucks and then this is 100. Even though this is 100, it just looks that good. I mean, and it does this. Who doesn't want a band that does this? I'll wear this for the rest of the video. USA, it fits me. It's pretty slick, go, go Olympics. All right, now we're onto the good stuff. We've got the Beat Studio Buds. We've got a new leather MagSafe wallet. I've tried the yellow one and it's pretty cool, but I've never tried this. And then we got some cases. The wallet is pretty simple. You open it by doing this. It's got a pretty nice leather finish here, but I will say of all the colors I've seen, this is probably my least favorite right off the bat. What, is this my iPhone 12? Look goes right on the back. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It looks pretty good on, on the Pacific blue. I'm sure it would go better with some colors than others, but I mean, if it's this or the yellow, I gotta show you the yellow. I'm sorry, but it's not even close. The yellow just looks way better. <laughs> just eject it off of there. That's a good combo. That looks good. This one, it's okay, but I think it's gonna be a return. Womp womp. Now we've got the electric orange sunflower and cloud blue iPhone cases, and I've never been a huge fan of Apple's cases, but maybe one of these is gonna change my mind. Here we go. She's sitting right here. That's electric. Look at that little logo just saying, hi, I'm MagSafe. I'm in, I'm electric. Next up, we've got Cloud Blue right here, popping her out. This one looks really nice. It's a, it's a little bit more subtle than some other blue colors, and it's pretty sweet. You just pop it out of here, pop off the plastic, and Look, there's cloud blue. My camera is like auto color correcting because it thinks this is white, but it's it's a nice color. It almost looks purple in some light, like a light purple. And finally, let's see sunflower. Sunflower out here really do be doing the most. Ooh, I like it. I mean, I like yellow. You guys, you've seen my channel. You know I like yellow. That was barely even on here. I thought it would make the cool effect. Let's give you the ASMR you signed up for. Here they are all together, sunflower, Cloud blue, electric orange. I think, I, I know I'm partial to yellow. This is just really bright. Maybe this is your personality, but I like this one. Yeah, it's the same cases they've had, just new colors, but it looks good. As you guys can see, I've gotten sunburnt from sitting here all day. No, it's just because there's a light coming in. But anyway, we've got one more product to look at and that is Beat Studio Buds. Look at these guys. I have been wanting to try these out for such a long time and I haven't yet. I don't really know why, I just have it, but I'm looking forward to these. They look incredible. They're more technologically advanced with no stems than AirPods and AirPods Pro in some ways. So let's crack these open. This is the only real product that we're looking at today that's actual new hardware from Apple. Everything else is accessories and they just kind of, they kind of fall out. This is actually kind of sick. There's a Beats sticker inside on the exact same material as an Apple sticker. They also give you a free trial for Apple Music and then a USB-C charge cable because believe it or not, these actually have USB-C on the bottom and not lightning, which is just crazy. I feel like I'm opening a, a little baby present. Here they are. I got the black ones and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I wish we got AirPods in black. Of course, they only come in white. Here they are sitting inside and uh, USB-C on the bottom right there. It feels good, even the coating, really, really nice on these. It, it's not slippery like AirPods, it, it's a matte finish. All right, let's set these up. You literally just open them and like magic, they do this. I didn't even plan this for the video. It, it just genuinely does work that well. And they also work pretty native like this with an Android app too. So we're starting to see Apple branch out a bit to not just be Apple only magic setup. It's working for Android too at this point with the beats. All right, I'm looking at my batteries right now. Apparently one of the rats stole about 30% of my charge on the way over here. And even the Beats Buds are only 86%, but we'll take it. Um, I've never heard these. I listen to AirPods every day and I'm going to the gym. 
So let's pop these in and see what they're all about. So, uh, here's the thing. I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. They sound horrible. Like, they don't fit in my ears properly. I've had this issue with in-ear buds forever, and I just want some pair to work. It's the reason that I like AirPods 2 over AirPods Pro. Now, luckily, they've included some extra ear tips. So, they say that these are supposed to fit better. I guess I need, I need large ear tips? Apple says that these fit better than any other in-ear headphones that they've ever made. So, the mediums don't work. The smalls are too small. I guess let's try the large. Maybe I have bigger ear holes than I've, I've expected. All right, so uh, I have tried all three sizes and I don't know what it is about them, but it's not, it's not it. Yeah, I don't think my, I don't think my ears are made, made for uh, in-ear buds. You know, I've tried AirPods Pro over the years and they, the same thing happens. AirPods Pro fit in remarkably better than these, at least. I don't know, the sound quality, even when they were pushed all the way in and had like a good seal, S six out of 10. I mean, I guess these are 150 bucks, right? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. I was really hoping these are gonna be my next headphones. Like the integration with the iPhone is nice. It's cool that we, you get things like transparency mode and, and noise cancellation. That's pretty sick. The build quality of the case feels great. I love that they're black. I love that there's USB-C, but I just don't, I don't think that they're gonna work for me. I don't, I don't think the in-ear work for me. So that's today's set of unboxings. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little different, a little fun. I definitely would say my favorite thing by far is either this USA band for the watch or this. Everybody should get this band. It is amazing, the pride band. The colors are just out of this world. Like it, it looks in person even better than online. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like if you did. Hit subscribe so you're always staying up to date on the latest Apple news. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.